Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, the Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with one of my favorite people, Steve Roberts. And Steve and I met in 2006 at the Compassionate Friends. And Steve, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about the work that you do with grief and loss? About myself. Well, I, as a profession, I'm a banker. I'm a bank consultant. And my involvement with grief had originated back in 2005 after the loss of my daughter, Kelsey. She was 11 years old. She was killed uh, at her home by her mother. And so my life completely changed in, as of August 5th, 2005. Uh, my work with uh, bereavement has been primarily with compassionate friends. Um, I attend support group meetings locally in the Dallas area, and then uh, I have become involved uh, part of the steering committee, and now the National Conference for Compassionate Friends will be held in Dallas later in July of 2015, so I'm on the uh, committee for planning that conference as well. Steve, I know that you're really involved in Compassionate Friends, and I know that you're involved with this next national conference. You know, the thing that strikes me about you is that although your daughter was murdered and it was so horrible, my heart goes out to you, you have been able to find hope. You've got a positive way about you. And I'm wondering for those out there that have suffered the loss of someone through murder, how did you do that? Well, actually, I draw from my daughter's from her spirit. I carry her with me wherever I go. And I think that really helps me maintain a positive outlook that even though I can't see her be with her physically, I know that I'm carrying her in my heart until I die. And what I learned over the years was um, I put together what I consider the five F's that really helped me. Faith, family, and friends foremost. Uh, family and friends, actually compassionate friends, not only are friends to me, but I feel that they're a part of my family as well. The fourth F that I have uh, used as help is uh, having something to look forward to, the future. And so going to conferences, fundraising, you know, things that I draw enjoyment from, which com conferences are a source of enjoyment for me because it's almost like a reunion, seeing people that I can relate to personally um, is very helpful to me. And then the fifth F to me is forgiveness, which was very difficult for me for a long time because I really didn't understand what that meant. And once I learned what forgiveness was, um, I felt like, yeah, that's something that would help me because if I held on to the anger and resentment and you know all the negative feelings about what happened, then it's holding me back. And so I feel like being able to move forward, I had to somehow fi figure out a way to forgive. Well, one of the uh, lines in the credo for the Compassionate Friends that we recite at the end of each meeting is, we need not walk alone. We are the Compassionate Friends. And I've held on to that. Even though I may be in environments like in the workplace or in social settings where there are no other bereaved parents, I also realize I'm not alone. And it's very difficult to, sometimes for me to be in the social setting where people might ask me about my being married before, if I had children. Now I feel strength because I know that even if they haven't experienced firsthand, I know others who have. And um, there's so m much uh, uncertainty on how non-bereaved parents deal with people that are bereaved. I feel like I need to kind of step out a little bit and say, okay, yes, I've experienced this difficult loss. It's very tragic. But I can move forward, too. And I can have a positive outlook on life. And so that, that's really what's helped me. Well, thank you, Steve, so much. Thank you for all you do for the Compassionate Friends, and thank you for all that you do for the bereaved families out there. Thank you, Dr. And this is Dr. Heidi Horsley for the Open to Hope Foundation.